The star of the original Weapons Base Fighter, Samurai Showdown, just joined the cast of Soul Calibur VI. So we're going to take him through the hard version of the arcade mode this week on Doc Mocker Gaming and see if the top video game Samurai of the 90s could take down the top video game Samurai of the early 2000s. First up on this hard arcade playthrough, we fight the king of rock and roll himself, Maxi. Warriors cross swords beneath the gaze of the ancient gods. You can enter the same input commands from the old Samurai Showdown games for Neo Geo. It even does additional damage, but the commands get a bit convoluted. They had a similar feature in Smash Bros. Ultimate with Ryu, Ken, and Terry Bogard. Sword tricks, finishing them in style. I remember growing up, they had a Neo Geo machine in the Walmart the next town over that Samurai Showdown 2 on it. As a little kid, I would always get excited to play it because it was like the bloody Street Fighter, but with weapons. Also, just like in the old Samurai Showdown games, once you get past 30% health, you'll go straight into rage mode where you start turning red and then your moves will start to become more powerful. Amaru has some unique defensive capabilities. Being a drunken master, when it looks like he's swaying and bobbing and weaving, you can follow up quickly with a snapback attack. And if you're quick enough with your reflexes, you can even catch your sword with your bare hands. Yeah, perfect. Hopefully that skirt doubles as a parachute. For those who haven't played Soul Calibur 6, it's the Reversal Edge system. It's a bit of a rock, paper, scissors ish slow motion battle. Ah, damn, with a sliver of health left. Electrocute. The first Soul Calibur experience was getting a Dreamcast with Soul Calibur for Christmas of 1999. Seemed a bit odd at the time just getting like a fighting game as a first game for a system, but it was the first rare occurrence where the home console version looked better than the arcade version, which never happened. He has a unique setup where if he hits between 3 and 5 power slashes, he gets additional moves added. Blood flesh. 
flesh and souls are offered to the gods amidst deathly chants. Yeah, shin kick contest. Let's go. We're taking it back to the playground. All right, come back out of nowhere. It's hard to get in on this big guy. It's hard to block his moves because he just ends up breaking your guard. My goodness, he does a ton of damage in rage mode. Looking pretty bleak there for a hot second. Battle of the guest characters. Geralt's my first pick in this game. It was a guest character that actually got me hyped. A history of conflict repeats itself at this old city. I thought I was going to squash him right out, but that was a hell of a comeback. Oh, damn, here we go. 14 slash combo. Will he hit it? I can't believe I just pulled that out of my ass. This is the button and pull for it, if you could believe it. Oh man, after all that hard work. Nailing me with his super right off the bat. Alright, is that how you want to play? Mara's not the guy you want to piss off in this game. The dirty old pirate himself, only this time with a Fu Manchu. So long, pirate man. Payback's a bitch. Aw, oh, did somebody lose their hat? Now when you hit back in the three attack buttons, you do a soul charge, which gives you another power boost and another additional set of attacks.
Oh, it's Siegfried. What, the Tiger Eat Roy? A merchant ship replete with riches attracts more chaos than customers. The flash and the kanji symbol indicate that you've hit enough power slashes to activate that set of moves. The thing about Siegfried, he has so much power he could turn the tide extremely fast. You could also switch to a no sword stance where he's just standing there with his bare hands. From there he has four or five different attacks. It's the epic face off from the teaser trailer. It's gonna be a new samurai sheriff in town. In a cursed castle hall, warriors dance in a masquerade of death. They never really explain how they know each other, but maybe Mitsurugi was around in the 1700s where Samurai Showdown took place. Their basic attacks are very similar, it's kind of the template of a samurai in this game. The only thing that really sets Homaro apart is all the additions from the SNK games. Would probably explain why everything's so back and forth. He thought he was going to have a comeback. Not today, old friend. Besides being a male pattern baldness treatment, grows a new character here in Soul Calibur 6. A bit of an anime bad boy archetype. Damn, message sent. Third rate anime villains bringing it. Yeah, redemption. No fancy endings in this arcade mode. Just a screen showing you how long it took you to kick everyone's ass. I guess it's more about the journey than the destination. And that was this week's edition of Doc Mockery Gaming. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm on Facebook at Doc Mockery Gaming, and I'm on YouTube under Doc Mockery. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll have a new video up for you very soon.